Salute, salute. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on what time of the day it is that you clicked on the video, man. What's up, TGO? We in the building. Listen, um, let's get the business out of the way before we get into this video. So what is this video about, man? We're going to talk about regulations, man. So apparently some of these prop firms are getting regulated. I mean, some of these brokers. But let's get into it, okay? So let's talk about it. Before, let's get the business out of the way. So Black Friday, Christmas, the holidays coming. Y'all know I sell software by now if you're familiar with my channel. I put a Black Friday sell up. Last time I did this last year, it messed up the prices. Y'all wasn't telling me. Y'all just kept complaining. Yo, why is it so expensive? It's on sale. Stuff is up to 50% off. Okay, um, so go check it out. Go get you some software while you can. You know, you know, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Um, I'm looking to do a raffle. I'm going to do a raffle to try and bless somebody with some software. So stay tuned to that video coming soon. But for now, um, the raffle will probably, be, I'm looking to probably give somebody some software. The catch is, it's not gonna be a lifetime license. It's gonna be for one account. So I'm gonna bless somebody with the software for one account. Here's the difference with the sale that's going on. The sale is for the lifetime version. So what does that mean, Jimmy? It means that if you get the 50% off on a robot, you can use it on your prop firm, your demo, and your live account. So you can use it on any account, okay? So I would get that. That's a good sale. I rarely get to put that sale up. I haven't been putting them up because people have been complaining. Why'd you put it on sale? I paid this price and that price. I'm like, well, if you look at the price that it's on sale for, was it was it less than what you paid? All right, so the price of this stuff goes up as I upgrade, it doesn't go down. So stop pocket watching and let other people eat. Y'all be so busy, they're ready to complain, man, instead of getting y'all trade on. But anyway, Okay, so that's out of the way. So go to TradeGameOfficial.com and check out the sale. Also, go to the Discord and get discounts on your next challenge. So I signed up with a couple of prop firms. I'm going to do a video explaining those prop firms to you. But if you go to the Discord, by the time you watch this, it should be live. I have a couple of prop firms that I partnered up with to get discounts. So how does it work? Pretty much is you use the referral code or you use the link. Now, I know what I told you all about the links in the previous video. Like I said, I don't have enough subscribers for them to trade against you or anything crazy like that. So don't worry about it. I'm telling you because we have to legally tell you these things. I don't know how people get around that. So get the discounts to your prop firms and sign up to the brokers I'm using. And you should also be able to um, see how I'm trading. So that's that. The business is out of the way. So let's get into this video real fast. This one won't be as long as the others. KOT4 is regulated. So what happened? I woke up this morning and I saw that KOT4 is regulated. And um, people started sending me messages about this. I, I looked it up online. I couldn't really tell. I know there's a way people pocket watch and tell that. No offense to y'all, because it's good that y'all putting that information out there. What's happening? Okay, so let me explain, since I like talking about these topics and y'all like hearing them. What's happening right now is this is how Forex works, guys. Every couple of years, there's new trends and new things that happen, right? People find this new thing to sell to y'all, this new thing to, for y'all to buy. I'm going to make a saying in this video, and I want y'all to hear it good. It's called, in a gold rush, the people who get rich are not the people digging the gold, but the people selling the shovel. Think about what I just said. People who sell shovels get rich in gold rushes, not the people who dig gold. Why is that? Because most of the people digging gold do not find any. Majority of them don't. Now, the person who sold all of them shovels made a profit and is consistently making profit. This is the nature of trading, and unfortunately, your guru, this is what gurus are doing. They're keeping y'all coming. So what are brokers doing? They're losing licenses, so now they're getting regulated, so they don't have to worry about these things happening. What does the regulation mean for you as a trader? Honestly, not much. What do you mean not much is regulated? Well, let me explain. When you deal with a regulated broker versus an unregulated broker, the difference is your money is secure. But this is what people get wrong about money being secure. This is the part that they mess up on it is only partially secure so what does that mean that means that if the brokers for some reason to close or do something where they lose their money they have to give you your money back but what people don't understand about regulation is it's only a certain percentage of the money they have to answer for so if you put a million dollars in your trading account and you lose it whatever the amount that they're regulated to cover is what they have to answer for now here's the next part and this is going to sound negative but i'll explain it because it's just business the next part is they don't have to give you anything back. You have to now see them in court and hopefully get that money back, that portion back. What people don't understand about regulated versus unregulated brokers is they all can run off with your money. Banks can run off with your money even though they have regulations, right? It can happen, it's called the bank run. You can still have a regulated broker leave with your money in close. It can happen with any business. 
Now, is that all gloom and gloom? No. What it means is that now they are a little bit more stable and they're a little bit more trustworthy. At least they're trying to present themselves that way. So it's a good thing for the trader, but just do not be fooled into thinking just because, hey, I'm on a regulated, ha ha ha, they won't take my money. A reg unregulated, ha ha ha, they will. No, they both can take your money. So do not be fooled just because of that. Now, what I will say in defense of KOT, even though I am not uh, promoting KOT to you trying to say, and I have no gain from saying this to y'all, I will admit, I have had some of my best trades in my entire three years of trading. My full-time trading career have been on KOT4. So I will admit, I'm glad to hear that. I, I have a live KOT account that I trade on. I have taken some of my best trades on KOT. So, and you see some of my trades on, on Hugo's way. And I don't even show y'all my Hinkle trade account like that. I'm gonna start showing y'all my different broker accounts because I want y'all to start trading with me. So for 2024, I wanna focus on trading and y'all trading with me. So I will start showing my broker accounts. I started putting all of my, um, my trading accounts on um, my FX book to show people so people could say you know hey i'm catching these amount of pips i'm showing you it live on the chart but now i'm actually giving people proof because i want to start trading bigger capital and in order for me to do that i have to show that i can be responsible with bigger capital what percentages am i bringing in and you know uh you know being able to control large amounts of money prop firms are cool but like i said i'm in new york the firms in New York do not give a freak about prop firms. They consider that like saying I have monopoly money. So if I'm controlling 500,000, a million dollars worth of prop firm money to them, that means nothing. If I could control uh, six figures and seven figures worth of actual live capital, then I'm saying something. OK, so that's my goal and that's what I'm doing. So I, I can't confirm too much because I'm having personal problems. People come in, watching my channel, watching what I'm doing. They are not letting me build this capital, guys. I have I have a lot of personal problems going on. I'm not gonna come in here and cry about it, but I'm just telling it like it is because people make it seem so amazing to be traders. Listen, give y'all some advice right now, man. If you are a trader and you are thinking about going public with your trading, don't do it unless, unless until you are at least profitable and you have made enough money that you can get away from your current surroundings. Like these people on YouTube, you see they be moving all over. I own property, so I don't get to move around. You understand? I have property that I'm in control of, that I inherited, that I got. So I had uh, these things before I started trading. So I'm kind of locked in this to, to New York right now, but I definitely want to get away from it. I'm making my, my play to get away from it. And uh, when I do, I'm, I'm gonna be so grateful. I get to reset my life and start over and get away from these people. Cause I got so many people who are pocket watching me right now. I have to be careful what I say and do and how much I post and show. I wish I could just flex in the car. But then I know as a videographer, cause I shot a lot of music videos in New York for a lot of rappers who are signed to record labels. A lot of that stuff is fake and rented. And I, that's why I kind of get on here and I get adamant about exposing that part. Because what you see is not what you get guys. You have to understand a lot of this stuff is marketing and it's presented to you so that you can buy the shovel. Okay, the person selling you the shovel is your favorite forex trader. They're shoveler, they're selling shovels. You're the person looking to get rich by mining gold. The person who's really getting rich is the person selling the shovels. And I'm telling y'all that as a person who's selling software because I want y'all to know what y'all getting into. Why am I doing that? Because I want y'all to have the right mindset so that when y'all come into this training, you know what to do and not do what to look for, what the noise is, what the, what's not noise. Focus on learning to trade because even with me and my personal life, with all the people that attack me behind my back, sabotage me and do all these things, they can't take the fact that I could go to a chart and get busy and get mines. I could go anywhere and get busy and get mines. And that's the beauty of it. Now, I took the chance and left my job to become a full-time trader, and I'm grateful for that. But I can't just hop out the state or the country right now. You understand? Now I have obligations to family and things like that, people that I take care of. But I am putting myself in a position so that I can give these people some money, and I can go, y'all good, and then walk away. So that's, that's my next goal right there. And that's what I'm focused on. And when I get this big capital set up, that's my gonna do. And I document all this on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching it, enjoy it. To so the people pocket watching, I got something for y'all, but just know when you get it, you ain't gonna see me again. <laughs> so 
Black Friday sale is live on the, uh, on the TradeGameOfficial.com. Go check it out. I recommend you do. The fair value gap robot that y'all see me trading with, the new strategy that everybody's using, I automated it. I've been trading with it for almost a year now, practicing, making sure it's good. I took it live. I've been on Hugo's way with it, and I've been killing it. I just don't post too much of it because I feel like I be shoving it down your throat, and I start to feel like the shovel sells me. And I technically, yeah, I hate to say it, but it is what it is, right? But I don't want to present it that way to y'all. I want y'all to understand what's going on fully. I want y'all to be, to know what's going on. I want to be transparent. So yes, KOT4, we're regulated. And that's a good thing. I'm already on KOT4. It's a good, it's a beautiful thing. Um, Hugo's Way is trying to do something where they're switching to, they're switching to something. I can't fully understand it. I'm looking into it. I'll make a, another video about Hugo's Way. And I'm going to make a video about the brokers and prop firms anyway. But right now, I'm just giving y'all the topical talk because I woke up to it. And I know people don't seem to really talk too much about it unless they're promoting something or selling something. I'm not selling you no, um, no KOT4 uh, referral, even though I do have an um, affiliate ship with them. I've been at it. But um, yeah, so that's good. So that means that I, I, can see, I can't see Hango Trade not doing this. I can't see Hugo's way not doing this. They're all pretty much owned by the same group of people anyway. So if one is doing it, they're probably all gonna do it. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. So uh, yeah, so that's good for the traders, man. It's a win for us. It's a little bit more security. It means that these brokers is trying to stay here and be in it for the long haul. It's not doom and gloom for the broker to, to be booking trade against you. Cause like I said, if you have the skill, uh, you know what I do in those situations whenever I'm trading I trade with multiple brokers open I keep all my eggs in multiple baskets because when I'm trading on four different brokers I can always trade the same pair and I got into copy trading So now I just copy my trades from one account over to all of these other accounts And I know when I get different results that is manipulation from the broker So I'm able to keep a lot of attack on that and I haven't really seen too much. Now, the only broker who I have seen some crazy manipulation with, and I said this before, and I seen about three trades where it was like way off, was Hugo's way. So they're, they're the only broker I've seen kind of do that. Uh, KOT4 and Hanko Trade, I haven't seen that. You know what I mean? Um, ACAP, ACAP uh, people are complaining to me. I'm hearing a lot of complaints about them. I'm hearing a lot of complaints about a certain prop firm who I'm partner with. They gave me a very terrible discount code, but we'll talk about it in another video because I, I want to talk about it when I go into what prop brokers and preference you should use. The ones that I use on my best risk, and you should definitely listen to me as an automated trader. I'm in like 400 trades right now for the holiday. They say it's slow. When they say it's slow, don't trade. I trade more because I learned that whatever they say, do the opposite. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm in a lot of trades right now. So I'm take it from me as a person who has the data I'm gonna tell you which brokers gave me the best results uh, for scalping, swing trading, uh, you know, what sessions and things like that. I'm gonna give y'all that information. I'm gonna try to sit down and make a detailed video for y'all like that. But for now, I'm gonna end this video because I didn't wanna make it too long. I just wanted to bring y'all the news that KOT4 is now regulated. The regulation, people are calling in the question on Instagram, this YouTubers attacking them. Um, these, there's like a civil war between traders. So you have these traders who are regulated versus these unregulated traders. And now these unregulated traders are regulated so now the regulated ones is beefing with them about their regulation this is what goes on on you so welcome to the fucking uh trading universe um it's your boy jimmy fx i'm out of here um let me know what you want to see me talk about next but like i said i'm gonna work on this broken prop firm video for y'all there's one prop firm in particular i'm kind of liking what they doing and i want to bring that to y'all attention and i have a think i think i got a 10 percent i think i got a 10 or 15 percent off on your challenge code from them so that's pretty good too that's dope and um i'm look for that video coming soon all right so i'm gonna get out of here and go check out the black friday sale um it's not gonna last as long as it did last year where i think i ran it from now until all the way up until new year's it's not gonna be like that so go check it out some stuff is 50 percent off some of those software that i brought on it's limited time it will be going after the sale i don't like leaving a fair value gap robot up there because people actually they don't want to use it but meanwhile y'all can sit up there trading them fair value gaps Nothing is beating the bank series and the Pyrex vision. Y'all already know that. For those of y'all that have it, y'all already see the power of it. Y'all see what it does and how it uh, follows the market. Well, Jimmy, if it works, why would you sell it? I'm selling it because it works. But anyway, for those who don't know, go to the testimonial page on you on my um, website, tradingofficial.com, and look at the testimonials. Those are from real clients and people who are in the Discord who are trading with the software. I can't make that up. I can't fake that. It's real trades. I post the trades and I post what they said. And, you get to see it for yourself. So go ahead and knock yourselves out. I'm out of here. Peace.